outstanding group when you look all the way down the line. You're just a fantastic group of young cows. For me today, I'm starting out with this uh, beautiful, stylish cow when you see her on the moon. She's got that long, clean neck. She's hard across that top line. And she just moves so gracefully and freely on those hind legs. And that's what puts her over this beautiful dairy cow in second. It's dairy cow in second there, you admire the height and the width through that rear udder attachment and the width all the way throughout when you get behind her. And that's what makes her go over this nice dairy black cow in third. This dairy black cow in third has just got so much flatness and cleanness of bone, so much balance to that mammary system. And that's flatness and cleanness of bone is what puts her over this uh, beautiful four, uh, cow in fourth, which we made the best udder in the class. She needs to just clean up a little bit and, and just walk a little more freely and a little more straight, stronger on those hind legs to get her up there and, and give her some time. I think she'll clean down. But what a beautiful udder. Beautiful teeth size and placement and balance all the way throughout. And that's what takes her over this next cow in, in fifth here, the mammary system. Fifth over sixth, a little more dairiness, a little bit more sharpness over the shoulders, a little more cleanness in the hock than our sixth place, big powerful sixth place cow. Then we get down to a couple other cows, we just like to clean them up, this beautiful white cow here, uh, a little longer in lactation, uh, I can see she's just a beautiful frame cow, and then we come with a nice dairy cow also, we just like to widen her out and lengthen her out a little bit more. A nice group of cows all the way through, 